Good evening. I would like to call to order the school committee meeting of May 10th, 2022. I would take a motion to open the meeting. So moved. Moved by Trista. Second. Second by Amanda. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Please rise to the Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Moment of silence. Thank you. Hey, Tim. Before we get started. Yes, Alan. I have something that I wanted to do. Okay. Costume change. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Secret cabinet. Costume change. Your secret cabinet. We should come in at 7 this morning. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we have one person that is not here yet. Um, Senator Brady's aide is going to be coming. I don't know when, any time. He's coming from somewhere. And Representative Allison Sullivan could not be with us tonight because she is presenting in another district, another town or whatever. And um, Mike Brady couldn't come tonight because he is he has an event. And Senator Timothy couldn't come because he's also at another event. So I will present from Allison Sullivan our state rep, Allison Sullivan. Um, let's see. I want to give the right one to the right person. That would be bad. So <clears throat> this is for Trista. Um, it's a citation from the state uh, state reps for you. Thank you, Allison. And, um, and Tim, this is one for you. Thank you, Allison. You're welcome. And also, I want to say it was nice working with you both. And... Um, it was nice working with you, especially on this policy subcommittee. And thank you, Tim, for all your hard work. I know this last couple of years was not easy being thank the chair. You. And Ellen, I, I appreciate it. I know you and I, you know, well, actually, maybe now is the time to say it. I, I just, uh, you like it's, our, it's our last, it's our last <laughs> meeting tonight. Uh, Trust is in mine, and, and it's been a, um, it's been a fun and crazy three years. I don't think it was anything what we envisioned running for school committee was going to look like. Um, but I've enjoyed it thoroughly. Um, I've gotten to know people in the town. I've gotten to understand town government a little more, sometimes a little more than I wanted to. Um, I've thoroughly enjoyed working closely with Liz and working with Gina. Um, and I, I truly appreciate Liz's role being a superintendent, seeing it every part of every day. And it's an, an impossible job, but you do it well. Um, and I will miss all of you, and I'll be watching starting next two weeks from now, happily at home on, uh, yeah. on Tuesdays for your meetings. So I, I wish you all the best. Yes, yes. Um, no, if I can just interrupt, I'm sorry. Hello. Hello. Okay. Are you your Senator Brandy? I am. Are you Ellen? Welcome. I'm Ellen, yes. Ellen, oh, And we have, um, we have, I have a couple of citations for retiring school committee money. Retiring? I like that. Retiring <laughs> sounds a little strong. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> You know, I'm going to open them and read them off if you don't mind. Sure. Thank you. If you can come, if you can sit here, there's a We have a microphone right over here at this table if you'd like to. Yeah, oh, yeah. Or there. there you go. Or there. Yeah. Okay. It's just for the audience at home. Yeah. Sure. All right. Um, these are, um, these are both, they will read the same. So I'm going to. I'm going to read the one. Um, and again, congratulations, um, Tim and Tristan. Thank you. Thank and you. thank you for your uh, service to the, uh, the school committee and the, uh, the families and thank you. involved and the students. Um, it's an official citation from the State Senate, be it known, and the Massachusetts State Senate hereby extends its congratulations to Tim McLaughlin, or is it McLaughlin? McLaughlin. McLaughlin. And Trista Higgins, in recognition of your dedicated service to the town and people of East Bridgewater, after three years at school committee chair, and be it further known that the Massachusetts Senate extends its best wishes for continued success, that this citation be duly signed by the President of the Senate and attested to, and a copy there to, thereof transmitted by the Clerk of the Senate. And it's signed by uh, the Senate President, Karen Spilka, um, attested by um, Michael Hurley, Walter F. Timothy, and Senator Michael Brady. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. 
Mr. Jim Breton. I'm sorry I didn't have to look your name up. <laughs> Thank you. And, uh, and first, uh, congratulations. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming. Yeah. I appreciate you coming tonight. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Sorry for the last minute thing. No, no. We appreciate you coming. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Stay well. Just in time. Yeah. Perfect timing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Um, I just want to just continue to say thank you both for, for your friendship, your leadership, your guidance, Tim, your leadership um, and clarity, I think, has been really helpful. Uh, Trista, your leadership kind of behind the scenes, if I had a question um, or I was way off in policy subcommittee, uh, and I really appreciate your, your gentle guidance, and, and I will miss being uh, with both of you on this roller coaster but grateful it will at least not be in COVID times so <laughs> thank, thank you man yeah, appreciate thank you. it yeah. absolutely oh yeah over there. Okay. Hold up our... yeah. I need to do that for it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll open them up we need to see oh, them. Open. open them up thank you so much thank you, I need to thank you so much so should we do it at the end? We'll do it at the end. Thank you. I will not. I will not. Thank you, Amanda. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Anytime. All right. On our agenda tonight, our <coughs> agenda tonight, our first item is that we have the Viking sports parents here um, who are going to make a request um, in line with our naming new facilities policy. Good evening. Thanks for coming. Um, do I just go right here? Sure. Come on right up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm Jen Pohl. I am the president of Viking Sports Parents. I think I know some of you. I don't know all of you. I'm sure I've heard your names. Um, I don't know. Did everyone get the letter that we proposed? Um, Laurie was part of Viking Sports Parents. She was a friend to all of us. We have um, three members that we got together. We wrote up the proposal after talking several meetings at VSP to see what we could do to honor Laurie. Um, and just a little bit from the letter. Um, as many of you know, the town of East Bridgewater lost a vital member, Laurie Dewhurst, with her battle of cancer for the second time when she was 51. When we lost her, we also lost a face at all of our games. She was a familiar face at the soccer fields, the baseball field, at uh, the basketball courts, um, softball fields. She was the first to sponsor anything that we asked for. Um, road race sponsorship, wiffle ball tournament sponsorship. She was at meetings. She was along the race route, she was running the race route, um, sticker drives, we could always go to do her slumber. So she was a huge part of our, our community and we want to honor her in some way. Um, and we tossed around a few ideas and we think that the best idea that we could come up with and we want to propose it, see if you guys will approve it, is to um, name the snack shack, the indoor snack shack after her and call it the Laurie Do Her Snack Bar. Um, she was Sid, her daughter Sid graduated. She was a basketball star. Laurie was always in there. Um, she'd always be helping us at the snack bar. So we feel she's got two more kids coming through. It's kind of, it would be nice for them to see her name. Um, but as in the Anna Foy snack bar, Anna passed away in 2015, I believe. And there's not a plaque or anything to kind of tell everybody about her. So as you age through, you know, once Austin gets through her youngest, we want to make sure people remember exactly who Laurie was. So we'd like to put a little plaque outside of the snack bar to kind of put a picture of her, kind of describe her, what she did for us. Um, and that's what we'd like to do. We'd like to propose for you guys to talk about and vote on next meeting. Great. So um, if approved, our plan would be to go to Mr. Ferrioli and ask him to help us design a a uh, sign that would match the school decor so it wouldn't be something that was you know out of the ordinary um, and then work with him maybe for a plaque if not would go to a trophy place or someplace around like Bridgewater trophy um, budget we would we would cover all the cost VSP would cover all the cost um, and we would love to if we could kind of keep it on track to unveil it at the first home basketball game next year so, any questions no. Um, I, I really appreciate you bringing this forward to us. Uh, when I got your email last month, I, I 
was blown away with what a what lovely gesture I thought it was. And, um, you know, I think Laurie truly touched everyone that knew her. And mm -hmm. I only knew her very, very um, casually through a couple of soccer meetings. And I, I couldn't get over what a lovely person I thought she was and what a bright spirit. And I know the town misses her. You know, and as we point out in the letter, like VSP, one of our missions is to kind of get the community and the sports teams together. Mm -hmm. And she was a prime example of that. And one example that I can um, think about right away is my daughter is a soccer player. She loves soccer. Um, and when she was probably four or five years old, she followed the soccer team. She was at every single game. The goalie was the goalie of the first state championship team was our babysitter. And she was at the top of the stands every single game. And Laurie made a point of having that entire team sign a, a soccer ball for her on her birthday, and they left it at the door. Her next birthday, they all left a whole, huge bag of candy for her. <laughs> you know, so she knew, she knows the importance, she knows what it's like to be, you know, make her kids role models, make these sports teams realize really what they're doing for these little kids and the community. So Great. I think that we, we really want to honor her in some way, some big gesture. Thank and Jeff, we, we reached out to Jeff as well, her husband, uh, before we even started this whole thing to make sure he'd be okay with it. And he was very touched by it. Thank you. Um, our, we, we passed a policy. Did we pass it um, two years ago, or were we just reviewing it two years we ago? Amend, we amended it. That's but, right. Yeah. So our, our current policy on naming new facilities just requires, um, following your submission, a brief um, consideration period that would allow for public comment. So if any members of the public wanted to email the school committee in the next week or two to you know, weigh in on this, they would have that opportunity to do so. Yep. So we will ensure that this is an action item on our next school committee meeting agenda, which is? May 26th, May 26th okay. um, and it'll be voted on at that point. Okay. But um, we, we are very appreciative of you bringing this forward to us, and I think it would be a lovely gesture. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, next on our agenda is a report from the East Bridgewater Student Advisory Council member, and I know um, she was not able to join us, nor were any of her uh, delegates. Do we have a report, or are we just moving on from that? We're going to move on from it, and then she'll be here on the 26th. Sounds good. Superintendent's corner. Very quickly, I uh, want to thank uh, the town. Uh, the, we had the town meeting last night. I want to thank Charlie Seelig. I want to thank the Board of Selectmen, our liaisons um, to the FinCom and the Capitol. Um, the schools did very well last night. Um, they supported our, our, our funding, our budget. We had a... a, a, a larger than normal increase this year due to their CBA contract. Um, however, I think the, the town has embraced the schools. They understand what we're trying to do here. I think the mission and the vision is clear um, and we're continuing to moving forward and we're gonna stay um, as bright as we can so that we can do the best that we can for the community. I just wanted like, to thank everybody who came out last night and voted for the budget. Um, I think that the meeting went very well, and I think that there's a lot of things, good things to come um, as East Bridgewater grows and the school district grows and does some, some, some other things. So just wanted to thank everybody on that. Uh, and again, Tim and Trista, uh, we, on behalf of, uh, behalf of uh, the teachers, uh, my staff, uh, administration, and all of us at the district, we would like to thank you for your support of the schools. I thank you for supporting my leadership. Um, and our vision that we created together, uh, the planning that we do together. Um, it's not easy. Some meetings aren't that fun. Um, it's a lot of work. And um, I don't think people realize how much work it is and or the angst that school committee members get um, or have when they walk <laughs> into a meeting. Um, so I'd like to thank both of you for that. And I know that the I know that the uh, teachers and the staff and the administration staff is, uh, is with me in saying thank you and we, we look for good things from all of your children. And uh, as they come through, Tim, we'll make sure that they're not over at Skinner's <laughs> running around. <laughs> He's learned. <laughs> um, so, but thank you. Uh, I was at Skinner's two Fridays ago. Um, the kids are running around. Uh, we had a conversation with them. I'm not gonna throw anybody in, in jail and I'm not gonna 
yell at kids because that's not really what I do. I went over there and talked to them and said, geez, you know, look how fast these cars are going. Chief O'Brien was there with us. Um, our security guard it goes over there a couple days a week and spot checks and sees what's going on. Last week it was cold and rainy. He went by a couple of times. There was nobody there. This week he was there on Monday. He said, you know, not too many students were there. Uh, and uh, we'll be out there this Thursday and Friday because both days will be warm and sunny. Um, I think the kids understand, though, that nobody's saying that you can't go to the library. Nobody's saying that you can't, you know, kick the ball around in the back there or go through the woods. Um, some kids had some skateboard out in that back parking lot. I don't think anybody's saying that you can't do that on your way home. What we are saying is that destruction of property is not something that the schools or Viking Pride wants to be involved with. Pulling up flowers, uh, yelling uh, at cars, or even running across the road without getting our help, because um, it is scary up there. Um, mm -hmm. The cars do come through pretty fast, and even Chief O'Brien was in his uh, car, and he went after a couple people that were driving pretty fast. So um, I want to thank everybody, because there was parents in the, in the parking lot making, watching me to see that I was there and what I was saying and this and that. And, um, the kids are, they really are going to get ice cream and candy, lots of candy. Mm -hmm. um, so, but we are up there. We're going to continue to go up there. Uh, the security guard from the high schools is, uh, Dave is up there. Um, and we're going to continue to do it from now to the end of the school year. And then we, we do have a half a day coming up. Um, 27th. 27th. Um, so we'll be there on the half a day. Great. Um, Mr. Uh, Gentile and I spoke yesterday. He's going to continue to make that announcement on warm days of be careful, I'm going to drive by. And, and I think uh, Andrew will, Mr. Gentile will drive by this Friday on his way out. So it just gives us another set of eyes um, on students that we might not know their name. I might not know their names right away, uh, but the principals certainly do. Bill Clements was there a couple Fridays ago. Um, he found out that his, ice, his favorite ice cream is the kid's favorite ice cream. So <laughs> he's excited and by himself uh, and a couple of kids I think it was uh, coffee Oreo. I think that's mm -hmm. a big, uh, it's a big um, winner over there. So, so we are there. Um, we had the prom last weekend. Uh, I, Mr. Clements uh, texted uh, both Dr. Williams and myself. I, I would like to say about 10:45 uh, that evening and said uh, another great prom. Um, for us, our great prom. We like to hear no incidences. Uh, we got through it. Um, we haven't heard anything. It is now 1045. I think we're in good shape. That's what I like to hear. Dr. Williams likes to hear probably um, a truck or a car drive into her driveway uh, from one of uh, her children that might be uh, attending the prom. But that's what we do, what we, what we try to listen to. Um, but from all accounts, everything is going very well. Um, so. When is senior prom? Two weeks. I believe it's the 27th. Yes, right? two weeks. Yeah. Right. 27th? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's in two weeks. So. Right. It's Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It goes by pretty, f uh, for the next two or three weeks, as you can see, the, 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 the boards are going to be running nonstop. Jazz concerts, pop concerts. Yeah, the pops concerts are this weekend. 7 p.m. on Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday. Okay. And it's multi- school yeah. event yeah. Uh, grade three through uh, grade 12. three and up yep. grade three through 12. Um, so lots going on here um, in the buildings there's a lot of concerts going on uh, we went over the calendars yesterday with all the principals um, they are they're all out at this point it, it, this is and I'm sure that Tim is uh, if you're in schools you know it it's this is the our downward spiral here it goes it's just we're on like a, a big you know, a big wave runner. Um, Once you hit May down. first. Huh? Once you hit May first. Oh yeah. Yep. So, um, but we're ready to go. And uh, thanks, thanks to the town. Um, great things to come. And thank you to Tim and Trista. Thank you, Liz. It's been a um, pleasure working with you over the last few years, and, and working with you as, as chair. And you know, I, I know you and I always did not see eye to eye, but I always appreciate you keeping the lines of communication open between us. And I think um, people do not understand how truly difficult your job can be sometimes unless they, you know, not knowing the inner workings of what it is to be a superintendent. So thank you for, for working with me over the last few years. Thank you. Thank you. And I, I would like to echo, sure. echo that as well. I, of course, always have something to say, so I can't sit here quiet. Um, <laughs> It, I have really enjoyed and been honored to work with everybody on the committee, Liz, you, and Gina. 
um, to serve the community and to be a liaison for parents. And um, I would just say that it's encouraging to have people, run, new people running for these positions, but I would continue to encourage parents um, to get involved, to come to meetings, to invest in the schools, even if you don't have a child in a particular school, um, be involved and be invested, and the reward is great. Thank you. Uh, anything else, Liz? No, All right. we don't have anything. Thank you. Reports and discussions. So we have a second reading of the proposed new school committee policies. These were reviewed by the policy subcommittee. I did have one question about the federal funds supplement, not supplant policy. Is this a, a federal requirement that we have a policy that states this, or what's the what's the impetus behind this policy being passed? Um, well, it has a legal reference as elementary. You're talking about federal funds, DEC supplement, not supplant policy. Correct. Mm -hmm. Uh, elementary and Secondary Education Act as amended, so they amended that, and this must be. So, okay, I just I only ask because I hadn't heard that it was in anywhere that it was a required policy that we supplement. I mean, I, obviously it's good practice. I I know we're required to do that based on taking the federal funds. I just didn't realize that we're required to have a policy. I think anybody who gets like a Title One. Yep. Yeah. Anybody who gets any type of federal funding, it has to be appropriated in the right position, mm -hmm. the right right place, um, in the budget. You can't just use. Federal funding for anything, so it has to be. Um, when John does it, he has to airmark them as federal mm -hmm. funds, or for whatever grant program that we're using, or what teacher is being picked up uh, or supplemented. Gotcha. So it's just an obligatory nod. Sure. No, I mean, and I know that there's certainly districts out there that are fuzzy on the lines of how that's used, but uh, yeah, it's fuzzy not math. fuzzy math for sure. I think also some of the revisions that we passed our last meeting, there were a lot of fiscal revisions, which I, I think is was uh, part of the revision of the okay. Elementary and Secretary Act. Excellent. So. Um, any other questions or discussion about these proposed policies? Okay. So is it an action item now or later? Later is later. Okay. Uh, actually, we're going public comment. We have no one here. Uh, so we'll actually move on to action items. For the public comment, I was remiss when I did not read your citation. He, he outdid me <laughs> because I didn't read the citation. That's all right. <laughs> I do feel badly about it. It's all right. Thank you, Ellen. It's all right, Ellen. <laughs> so don't carry that guilt, Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll remind you from time to time that you I'm sure you will. Citation. Uh, I would... Uh, Oh, the minutes. I'm sorry. I, I misread that. Um, so I, have a, I would uh, take a motion to approve the minutes of the policy subcommittee meeting of May 2nd, 2022, which are enclosed. So it's only for the policy subcommittee. So the three of yeah. you can. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, so moved. Second. Move. Moved by Amanda. Second by Trista. All in favor, aye. 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 All right. Thank you. So the whole, so you can only vote. I, yeah. so it's for the actual yeah, meeting. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. housekeeping, because we're probably yep. not going to have another meeting. You don't want to schedule one between now and Friday? No. Okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I would take a motion to approve accounts payable warrant uh, 45 SV dated 5 4 2022. So moved. Moved by Amanda. Seconded. Second by Scott. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Take a motion to approve payroll warrant 46 PS dated 5 11 2022. So moved. Moved by Amanda. Second. Second by Trista. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Take a motion to adopt the new school committee policies listed below, AC-R, DEC, and JICK. So moved. Moved by Amanda. Second. Second. He said it. I'm ready to say aye. I got my Second is by Scott. <laughs> and I. All in no. favor? Aye. And um, we have a uh, letter that we, the committee received. I actually don't know if it went to the whole committee or just to myself. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Mrs. Jennifer Lonigan, um, instructional support assistant at Mitchell. Her son Jack is graduating uh, next month and she is requesting to be able to give him, to present him with his diploma, um, which is in line with our existing school policy. So I take a motion to um, approve Mrs. Lonigan uh, presenting her son with his diploma. So moved. Moved by Amanda. Second. Second by Trista. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anything else? Before the end of the meeting, so not only did we get cookies for you 
Trista and Tim, but I have cupcakes over there for everybody. Thank you. And, and exactly. now my family has seen that I have cupcakes going on. So. <laughs> you spoil the surprise. There's six in there. <laughs> Thank you, Ellen. Yeah. Thank you, Ellen. <laughs> um, just one last uh, uh, announcement for the t those at home town um, election is yeah. Saturday from 11 to 7. I believe the polls yes. open at yes. 11, 11 to 7. Yeah. Uh, so we have the two seats up, uh, up for school committee and the contested race. Yeah. The contested race. Yeah. Um, Liz, do you have anything else? No. Okay. I take a motion to close the meeting. So moved. moved by Amanda. Second. Second by Lauren. All in favor? Aye. 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 Bang that gavel the last time. <laughs>